Yo guys, what's going on? Ace is here today with another video. In today's video, we got some great news. The patch is finally here. It's going to be coming out tomorrow. No more delays. No more pushbacks. It's time for patch point 15. And I could not be more excited to check out some of the new content tomorrow. This is going to be a fairly short video. We don't have patch notes or anything yet. We don't have all the juicy details. But of course, we did see a couple of things from previous Tarkov TVs, the patch trailer, and a whole bunch of other little tidbits and stuff dropped by Nikita. And I have videos on all that stuff if you want to see some of those more specific things. Patch trailer reaction. We have Nikita talking about Molotovs, which I've gone over multiple times. Make sure you check those videos out. But I do have the exact times when the patch is going to be uh, live and when it's going to start installation. So I can throw the tweet up on screen for you guys right now. Tomorrow, August 20th at 2 a.m. Eastern Time, not 3 a.m., one hour early this time around, we are planning to install patch point 15 for Escape from Tarkov. The installation will take approximately eight hours, which is right on the money with what I guessed, but may be extended if required. The game will not be accessible during this period. There will be a wipe with the patch now there was a little bit of a hiccup when this news came out because arena is also getting a patch and the arena patch was only going to take five hours after bsg got a decent bit of backlash because you could essentially play arena for three hours while the main game was down and level up your pmc so the moment that the wipe happened you could already pretty much have the flea market which would have just completely screwed everything up and BSG has since changed that decision, and they have extended the arena patch as well another three hours to match up with whatever time it takes for the Escape from Tarkov patch. Now, we have seen recently some of these patches getting extensions, two-hour extension, one-and-a-half-hour extensions, and then I think a couple of the you know mini patches, they've actually come out 15 minutes, 30 minutes early. But when it comes to a large installation like this, ladies and gentlemen, I'm thinking set your alarm for 10 hours you know it seems like there has been hiccups now if you're a pvp player i would check in you know around that seven and a half hour and eight hour mark if you're trying to get the jump for wipe but for pve players just assume it's going to take 10 hours you know there hasn't been any events or any additional content within you know the pre-wipe period that pvps had stuff so you're not really missing out on anything too crazy uh, so for PvE players, there's not really a rush. Maybe check in 10 hours after the patch is actually live, which would be about noon Eastern time. Just check in around then. That's about when I wake up. So it's pretty much going to be perfect timing for me. I'm not going to set an alarm right for, you know, 10 a.m. Eastern time and wake up and be all tired to make content. I'm just going to let it kind of play out, see what happens. But when it comes to PvP players, make sure you're checking in around maybe 10 a.m. or something. Make sure you're getting the jump on it. Because, of course, you want to be the first players in your rage. You want to be on those, you know, super short queue times right in the first few minutes before everybody has their inventory sorted out. You can at least get one or two raids in before the servers start getting crazy. And, uh, you know, you'll probably have a good three, four hour window to play until prime time takes over. And then your queue times are going to be pretty ass. So make sure you're hopping in your night raids. But as for the content you're going to see here on the channel for point 15, PVE stuff will always be first. Of course, you guys know that. I know recently we have been covering pre-wipe and that is largely PVP stuff. I've told you guys multiple times I've been taking a little bit of a break, waiting for the patch, super excited for it. We're going to be checking out that factory rework. We're going to be checking out those brand new weapons weapons in escape from tarkov which i cannot wait to use some of i feel like it's been a very long time since we've got some fun new weapons to use gonna be checking out all of those giving you reviews what ammo you should use maybe uh do some class setups or you know hop in the gunsmith get some nice low recoil builds for you guys something along the lines of that we'll see what new tasks there are we'll see what quality of life changes there are there's gonna be so much stuff that is in this patch it's an eight hour patch there's gonna be a ton of stuff new hideout upgrades it's gonna be a lot of fun a couple other things i would potentially recommend to you guys in this video since we don't really have time to upload another how to prepare pve for the patch anything like that we don't really have time for a video like that it's very late tonight already my sleep schedule is starting to go into the degenerate cycle so my videos and getting them up have been a little out of sync with what they normally are you know i would recommend stocking up on some ammos you know stock up 
on your 9x39s. Uh, the 9x21, I think, is the shrimp ammunition, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Stock up on some 308. If we're getting the M60, you're going to be shooting 308, I believe. I do not think it's uh, 7.62x54R. I think it is uh, 308, which is 7.62x51. Uh, you know, buy some M80, buy some M62. Stock up on what you can now before the patch actually, you know, does actually start installation so you can at least get a couple restocks buy some stuff and uh when it comes to potentially getting molotov stock up on pevco stock up on maybe some lighters and uh some materials that you could use to light said molotovs you're going to be crafting them there's a whole bunch of things you could stock up on ladies and gentlemen so consider you know finding some things you want to invest in i don't have that full list here for you unfortunately but uh you know you definitely want to at least try and beat the flea market whether you want to use those items or flip those items of course either way uh, you're going to be sitting pretty if you're prepared for it now rather than later that's all i have for you today ladies and gentlemen do me a favor make sure you're dropping a like on it of course make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the content coming tomorrow coming the day after that and coming the rest of this week month, and year. I'll see you guys tomorrow in Patch Point 15. I'm out.